today we learned that everyone is unique. Uh, we, met, we met one kid today, and we asked him what his name was, and he told us his name was Buzz Lightyear. And, um, and rather rather than asking him what his real name was, you know, we inspired him as, as Buzz Lightyear. And we accepted him as Buzz Lightyear because that's what he wanted to be for the day, and we learned to inspire him and do it in creative ways. We asked him to uh, give us a nice little countdown and, and blast off when we got on the train. And uh, kind of going off of that, uh, we just learned that you really have to show enthusiasm if, if you want other people to be enthusiastic uh, with you. Um, you know, in, in terms of the train, we had some really simple props to work with throughout the track. Uh, but we, we made them come to life just with our enthusiasm. And I think that really helped uh, kind of make it to life for the kids as well. What I took away from this is just that we need to be thankful for what we have. Because we saw many people here who are very uh, put in compromising situations. We learned that 27,000 kids across the U.S. are given, you know, debilitating and life-threatening um, diseases every year. So we just need to be thankful for what we have, which is our health, which is often overlooked. I work the horse crowd, and uh, I just realized how much fun it is to work with the children. Like I've never really had the chance to uh, work with them, but I mean they're always excited. They're so excited to be there, and that it's easy to like, have an impact on their life. So. Okay, so one of the interesting things I saw today was the parents interacting with each other, and so I'm sure a lot of these parents uh, don't really have a support system outside of family with the diseases their children have. So. You know, not only does it give them a chance to meet other parents that are going through what they're going through, but it gives them an extended family for support. And, and I saw that directly today. The parents interacting, they get to spend a week building a relationship, and hopefully they take that home with them. So there are probably parents around the world that are able to communicate via Facebook and email and everything else, and it, it makes life a lot easier so they can go through it together. It was a wonderful experience going to give kids the world. What I took away is two things. One thing is now I'm really inspired in non-profit organizations. And the second thing is I'm really surprised like how interesting you can make a community service as I mean you can it inspires people to do more of community service if you make it interesting for them. Talking about my experience, I think I enjoyed my day so much. I love that we uh, helped people, uh, kids taking the rides and they were so happy. And I think in a way we can uh, give something back to our community and do something for them. And most importantly, know each other, uh, build a better team. So I think I look forward to have more opportunities to work like that. And <laughs> I know Chris is having a hard time holding the camera for me and I'm going on and on and on. But I think overall it was a very good day. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I've lived in Florida for 12 years, and I mean, you kind of know about Give Kids the World, but this is the first time that, you know, you go there, and you actually see what goes on, and you see first, get a first-hand experience of the entire operation, and I had no idea it was on such a large scale. And, um, I mean, we were learning about social responsibility, and uh, for up to right now, it was only applied in the classroom. But when you come out here, and you see companies putting it, you know, in actuality, and putting it into effect, it makes you feel good to see that, you know, local companies are doing that. And also, um, from a business side of it, when you have the uh, opportunity to help out the community like that, it's, um, you know, it's, it's really good. I think uh, one of the things that stuck out to me today was when uh, Neil was talking and he, um, he mentioned that, you know, the kids get to come here and they, uh, this is, you know, their life. It's like a staple in their life. Their life just doesn't happen. This is a way for them to have something special with their family and they, they can remember this. Their families can remember this even if that child passes on. I think that really, uh, that, that was something really incredible. So, it was a good experience. Okay, well we uh, met a one boy who came into his mom and his grandmother. He came in to claim a prize on the treasure chest. We got to kind of dig through the treasure chest with him and get to know him a little bit. And a little later, his grandma was talking to Dan and I about the sickness he has, and hearing all that, you would have never known it from how energetic and positive he was. So I think that just demonstrates how successful and important a program like this is. I had a really good time there. Um, I really did enjoy myself. I love giving back to the community. Um, whenever I have the chance, I usually go out with a group and kind of like donate my time to all these kinds of causes and stuff. Uh, one thing that I was really surprised about was I live I live only about five or six miles from the place, and I don't even know it was there. And I've been living here in Orlando for about four or five years, 
So what I want to do in the future is kind of give that kind of promotion because I know what I'm going to do when I get back is I'm going to definitely bring this up to my fraternity meeting on Tuesday. So I'd like to get more exposure for uh, other people to come out and do community service as well. I just think one of the biggest things about it is it really is a humbling experience and it makes you appreciate kind of the, just the simple things in life. And uh, one of the biggest lessons that I learned from it was, you know, really when it comes down to owning your own business or working for a corporation, um, giving back what you can when you can I think is the most important thing. You know, you don't have to necessarily donate money, but if you can donate your time, I think that's a big help just for the you know, overall community and things like that. Give Kids the World is a great nonprofit. It's run extremely well and it follows Disney's model pretty much to the T, and it, it's, it's top of the line at what it does. My personal takeaway was it was fun helping give kids the world and seeing kids in 